Aretha is at Pluto's house. The reality burp in her throat. Pluto's house screeches loud green life. Crooked, climbable Dr. Seuss trees and exploding ground cover. Aretha is a crazy chick cat, doll, bald, and charm, with slick hat and harming all hearts with sharpened stares. She's native and Asian Indian, blending in spirit frogs with three eyed vision. She's in torn jeans and rich bandana. She yells things like, Let's dig it! and digs a well to fish for smells that swells her cheeks to rosy puffs. She's had enough of this artificial stuff. She's an earthy girl worth all the soil neath concrete. Such a sweet delight that on our feet tonight we'll see her light up the stage in a blaze of blessed peace. She's on a maroon couch, entranced by an orange lava lamp, eating a Dagoba chocolate bar. She's talking to Pluto in a sing-song, flute-like, soft, Daisy Meadow Hill voice. You need more chocolate. Pluto is a crazy kid of the now, who weds so many agony in the doubt, feeling high to climb the ceiling of his mind. He's a hardcore senseless, with a tattoo of, of gonzo tooth on fist. He resists the plight to honor, basks in the body. He's got a straight jawbone made of stone and potent ethereal stare. He is the reincarnation of a Greek statue. Long curly hair, he responds, Alright, uh, let's get some chocolate. She hugs him with a hug more powerful than Kundalini. He smiles warmer than the Mayan sun. They exit the stage and search for chocolate. Aretha and Pluto drive 60 miles an hour in a cardboard box in the cool shadow of a blue translucent American flag. They ride high through the beams of the freeway flashes, dash into the jewels of a city block bracelet. Turn on Chocolate Street with hard rake smiles, but then they meet an enemy in style. Red, white, blue, beaming lights, shining bright, a headache. Whipping world his sign, blowing their sight and pierce shrieks through fearful eardrum hollow. A lost brother in the senses, wearing authority black and gun, marches up to their car and parks a full uh, load full of bullshit frowns through their frightened eyes. The cop stops talking. Oh, it's beautiful for this road. The system structure is being blown away. I demand you buy more things. Stop your questioning and wrecking away of our concrete dream. You remind me of Bliss Lost when I was a kid. So take this ticket and decide to confine within our lines. While in the back, the chocolate crisps crinkle through foil as the coldness blew twirl. The chocolate crisp bits cringled through foil as coldness blew toil from the crack in the window. They shivered in limbo, keeping silver sliver paper wrappings as scarves from lapping thoughts of cock and wind forlorn. They rescind inside to warn their beauty scars of barking shots of hostility. Oh, whale, whale, whale! The world is full of ugly bullies with guns and pins, talk and friends. Hide, hide, hide your beauty scars, for stars don't glisten in sinful men. They are huddled on cushion, pushing a plan to muddle to safety. Safety outside. To safety in the hopes of dead. One giant leap to bleep out breath and fall to fresh void. Anything but to work for king in dish pit or cubicle. In the radical wish pit of grave saves their endorphin mission. They trudged with noble ambition, doubtful of grace, slow, sad, 
to Windblown Mad, whistling up the doorway. A tribe of lemming gypsy chocolates caught in the capitalist wilderness. Returning to death, Mother Earth, and another birth in silent pastures. They reached the breach of the door mountain. A stubborn child screams when the wild wind streams his milky skin. His mom cuddles him in her arms, cries to silent God sky, crashes her eyes shut, rewinds her life, pauses on Christmas with kids, steps out slowly and falls down, down, down. Oh, the hues of loud agony, staggering in blue shroud, trembling twilight. A lover's last kiss, a frantic, fast bliss. Then step out slowly and fall down, down, down. A father's handshake, an antic damned quake. Then step out slowly and fall down, down, down. Oh, the tombs, silent towns, clown pounds, violent boom. One by one, they left the citizens. Just then, festering fluorescent sun rises in the west and the pestering goddamn talk stops his talk like poor fly who soars to traps dies he immediately flees his rap and runs full fledged and fast to bless this new guest Aretha and Pluto laugh <laughs> Right away. Aretha says to Pluto, Let's steal some streamers. The paper moon, new scam. Pluto says, Okay, let's steal some streamers and drape a statue grant. They sideways hug. Then Aretha lugs the cropped out car. Stamped out suburbs. Pluto says, I need to be bugged eyed and wonder like a thug riding thunder. This thing. Give me some codeine, give me some wine. Let them drugs glow me fine. Pluto gobbles and gulps the plan stash in the back and adds an ambient or two just for good luck. Read the Pulls up to the entrance as his oily thoughts start stirring. Business conviction, she purrs, I love you, don't suck. Pluto mama's out, but he stumbles in alone. Aretha parks the car and gets stoned. He's walk meditating deep and high, down all nine. Bubbling up, eight, six, down all six. Holding glory skin down out seven. Feels like a father of changeling elves down out twelve. Chicks on a spleen. And out thirteen. And seen by mean Japanese tourist. Chicks a high dream in his happy. Now he's conspiring with prisoner fruits and glass jelly jars. Telling them the whole time everything will be alright. He rescues a handsome kidnapped form paying no ransom. He sits Indians down and watches squares. Takes bucks, dinners from rectangle prisms to be bought with rectangle money for Cube House to be eaten in front of Cube Tube. He's laughing hysterical and rapping lyrical booze loud and proud. He recalls his mission and gets back on the ball to reason. He walks coolly to the art aisle, imparting a smile on a nine dollar box sharpie. As he hogs it in his denim pocket, he explains to an 80-year-old, very cold grandmother witness. The god of art has made pins the easiest thing to seal. She shrugs and shrivels. He gives her a little hug. Out he goes to the door, eating plum, plum and cord. When he gets to the car, Aretha's in deep sob. What's the sound of Cacts fire, yes. I'm beat. 
chocolate talk come here, suicide and all that ain't nothing neat. Ah, don't be like that. That's not what I mean. It's not all this clothes, babe. Most in this town, Walmart town, and raised blades fire. His eyes blaze for hate. You gotta keep close, careful calling the jobs. Whoa, man. And they got security guards, harder brows, pure tentacle, proud beasts, growling guns, hundreds of them. You gotta know your song before you start singing. You're to return these sharpies and get streamers. Radical crash, fantastic, mad, rad, glowing, flowing ghost streamers. Keep careful, call on the Japs. <laughs> Whoa, man, and they got digitalized eyes all on robot machine money taking one and beat people. Like foosball nutcrackers controlled far off by greedy secret people. You got Take three types of identification case mistake in your name. Get your story straight, your suburb prince with gift from Ma, but you're not enthralled with artsy crap. You bought him from Pa, but he's been caught by the law. A sharpie stalks a dream and blots your brain. They're broken, dry, and useless, babe. You gotta improv that shit. Feel the vet vibe to deal the best lie to each and every player. The security guard, the items return specialist, the gift card dispenser assistant, the always rambling direction post, big brother's trillion eye tentacle, cashier, and of course the bagger. It ain't easy, but not maximum hard. Just gotta play a product. Aretha's Breathes an inside nervous favorite car, then puts human heat on trembling tomes. She gazes at the movie made mind haze, claws prison. Reenacts her favorite martyr face and marches away to Walmart. Pluto then turns up tunes and lets out a fart. She's a dwarf by security or of course. Then shivers in man made air. The return booth white glow gives her goosebumps and lump of throat and buzzing too. She creeps foot by foot, deep in thought, flashing books of lies and lies. Keep it cool. These street scams are my own school for the big day of the gate. She murmurs to herself. She's brainstorming excuses for Pluto if and when she cuts bells. Each scan, beep, and cart scuff, storm her sonic playing with distinct compartmental wails. A counter and a stranger suddenly appear, pulsing slow waves of fear. She's at the principal's desk, at the host inn, concession booth, DPS, box office, dentist copay counter, judge's stand. She's at all those places where uniforms and rags meet. Where work and play time twist and flirt. Haggard burp lurks into your ear. Can I help you? Oh shit, this is it. Use your wit to lay down a lie. No going back. Make bold your first attack. Yes, uh, um, I need to return these sharpies. The Walmart freak's lizard brain reaches out, claims a no good pen, scans a quick, throws them back, grabs and gifts gift card, barks next. Monotonous, mechanical, machine. Aha! Aretha feels the wisps of imaginary handcuffs and realizes reality in the last ass. She's careless queen. Kid. She's careless kid, no Paul queen, voyaging through wild 15. Bouncing balls, dozing pins, water guns, chocolates and streamers. Oh my yeehaw, giddy centric parade, she chirps. And twirls twice. At the side of streamers, she blushes pinker and brighter with world's will burning on her hill chop cheekbones. She cuddles a nine dollar estimate in her arm. But a voice in a hard heart hollers. Poodle be dragged down by such simplicity. Make it magnificent. Make it extravagant. Make it an opera to see. <laughs> With such heart string entering tremors. She madly stashes in her shirt the entire set of streamers and alerts every employee. With a hoot howl, and dashes past every employee with a cute frown, and crashes through the fire door. 
and soars higher ever more as a fire bell rings, 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 and cries of blood, throat, sting. Aretha tumbles down and runs like a pool clown, busting decoy streamers that start flying around. The security guard puffs his sink, <laughs> runs three paces, huffs and quits. The manager laughs. <laughs> the rejection posts divert their eyes and scatter.